In today's episode, Chef Yassel and Chef Kendra show us how to make a delicious beef wellington using Prairie Street Co.'s filet mignon ribeye USDA Prime. Is that Amazing. not beautiful? So beautiful. It just smells, it looks incredible. Dude. So good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Welcome to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. You have two of us today. Me, your chef, Kendra. And Chef Yassel Backman. Welcome back, Yassel. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So today we're going to be making our filet mignon cut from the ribeye in a beef wellington using Prairie Street Co.'s filet mignon ribeye USDA Prime. So we have this incredible product. It is our filet mignon cut from the ribeye and kosher in general does not eat filet mignon because it's cut from the hind quarters of the animal, right? Are we missing out? Uh, no, not with this and I'll tell you why. No, I've had filet mignon and it's great. I like it, it's super tender, you know, it's, it's lovely, it's very decadent, um, but there's no marbling in it and this gives us the best of both worlds. It has that tenderness. That beautiful marbling. The beautiful marbling. And that tenderness. Exactly. So I prefer this. Beef Wellington is in general a dish where the meat is essentially wrapped in puff pastry. Right. Right? Um, different people add different things. We're gonna use pastrami today. Thinly, thinly sliced. Multi-step, a lot yeah. going on, but it is a delicious, delicious dish and I'm super excited to be I'm here. I'm so psyched. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna begin working on the mushroom duck cell, which is the second layer, the third layer of the beef wellington. Then for the mushroom duck cell, it's going to be mushrooms that have been cleaned obviously, and then really finely chopped in a food processor. Yes. A couple of shallots that I'll be finely chopping, along with thyme, garlic, and miso. That's a secret ingredient from Chef Yasel. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention, we're also gonna be adding in over top of the filet mignon, some Dijon mustard. Right, right after it's seared. Right While after it's, still it's hot, seared. Yeah. Nice little schmear. Nice little schmear of it. Um, and then after that mushroom duck cell is done, we let it chill for a few moments and then we build our pastry. Now, Chef Yasel has a really cool way of doing this. It's actually some crepes on top of the puff pastry, right? Yeah. And then the duck cell on top of that, so that way it doesn't get watery. It, it's just a barrier to yeah. keep the pastry nice and crispy when you throw it in the oven and, so and bake smart. it off. It's so smart. So you're gonna trim this guy up. Yes. So tell me what you're going for in this. So the most important thing when it comes to your meat, specifically for the beef wellington, mm -hmm. is that you want a consistent piece all the way through, which you'll see with any you know, filet mignon in the kosher world, typically the center cut ribeye, is there's a thicker side and there's a thinner side. Right. You really want to kind of trim it up around here. That way you get a consistent piece, consistent size. You're not going to toss this away. No. This is beautiful, beautiful meat right here. So definitely save it. You can you know, cut it into some nice one, one and a half inch steaks and just grill it up. You can slice it into a beef carpaccio. Uh, you can dice it and make a little beef tartare out of it. Right. Um, it's really a, a very versatile piece, so definitely keep that. Yeah, so there's, there's right a lot there. that we can do with that. Excellent, and I'm just gonna work on these shallots over here, talking about consistency. Those mushrooms are so finely chopped, so I'm just gonna get a nice little dice on these guys. So this is ready to go. I say we head on over to the stove top and we're gonna make our tuxel. Let's do it. All right. Time to make a duck cell. So, what is duck cell? Duck cell is really simple. It's just some cooked down mushrooms, essentially. Exactly. That's I know. really that's all it is. Yeah. So, what are we gonna do first? To start here, I'm just gonna go ahead and crank this up. You don't want to go too high. We want to let everything kind of all the water and stuff come out of the mushrooms. There is a lot of moisture, so very little bit of oil. We're right. just gonna use that to start with the shallot and sw and sweat that off here. And a little pro tip here, how do you know when your vegetables or whatever you're sweating is like sweated? When it really starts smelling like that. So when you really start smelling those shallots mm -hmm. and that flavor, that's when you know yeah. you're ready for the next step. Yeah. So all senses, use them all. All senses all the time. Oh yeah. Okay, so shallots, sweat it out, ready for the next step. 
I like a little miso in my duxelle. That saltiness with mushrooms is like delicious. It's perfect. I think it just adds another level of depth. So I'm gonna go in with that miso now and kind of toast it off. Okay. Similar to how when you're braising, yeah. you're gonna toast off that tomato paste. We're also using a dark miso. You can, there is a white miso, there's a red miso. We recommend the dark. Smells awesome. Smells dude. amazing, yeah. which means it is time for our favorite. Garlic. A little bit of garlic in there. And I'm just gonna go and add a touch more oil just to get that garlic sweated off here. Okay, so we have some fond on the bottom of the pan. What do we do when we have fond? Go in with a little bit of booze. Deglaze. Deglaze and get all that flavor up. So we're reducing the liquid here, and as you can see, it's starting to like tighten up and get to that like syrupy consistency. That's what you're looking for when, it, when you're reducing a liquid in, in a sauce or anything in general. Okay, liquid is nice and reduced, which means it is time for the our mushrooms. mushrooms. I love mushroom duck cell. Yeah, it's really great. You can add it into pasta. You can yeah. add it into like a cold pasta salad. It's great on like a crostini or, you know, something like that. And it's something that's like, it's so easy, but again, it just sounds so fancy. And let's face it, we're pretty fancy over here. Okay, mushroom duck cell reduced, looking really nice, Amazing. dry. We are going to set it in the fridge. We're going to let it cool. Very important when you are building the beef wellington before it goes into the oven, yeah. you want everything to be cold and hard. That way in the oven, the layers of fat, because it is a layered pastry, it will, it will expand. If it's a room temperature, that fat is not gonna be cold. Yeah. And it won't, you won't get that elevation in that and layers. And we'll, we'll explain more of that when we get there. All right, well I think that we're ready to bring that onto the sheet tray. I'll take that over there and then we'll keep moving on. Into the fridge. It's time to sear the meat, the star of the show. Our filet mignon cut from the ribeye. Center, Center cut. Center cut. I know, it's gorgeous. Don't go crazy on the salt. We have lots of layers and levels in this dish, and each one of them has its own seasoning. So just a little sprinkling of coarse kosher salt, ground black pepper, super hot pan in with the olive oil. I don't need a ton. That's a sizzle, baby. All right, we're gonna sear it all the way around, top and bottom. All sides. All sides. And this is looking totally rad. That's Perfect. so good. That's the crust that we're going for. And it's gonna keep that like great pink in the center yep. when we slice down. So good. That's what we're looking for. Awesome. Okay, that looks good. good to me. Me too. Next step. Right after it comes off of that stove top and it has that beautiful crust, now we're going to paint a light layer of Dijon mustard. And this is an additional level of deliciousness. It's like all of these notes, it's a beef wellington is quite a symphony of flavors. Okay, so our filet mignon cut from the ribeye is seared, it's coated with that amazing Dijon mustard. Now we're gonna go put it in the fridge for, chill it. let it chill and hang out. Good, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're ready to start assembling. This is very exciting stuff. Tell me what we're doing. We have a lot of stuff going on here. So we have our crepes. Mm -hmm. We have our thinly sliced pastrami here, our mushroom dixel, our meat brushed with mustard. Yes. Everything's chilled, everything's cold here. I love it. We have our puff pastry, which we're gonna roll out soon. Mm -hmm. To start, we're gonna take this pastrami here, okay. and we're just going to make a nice layer here. Okay, so we're like kind of fanning it on top of itself. Lovely. Exactly. And tell me why we have the plastic wrap down while you're setting up the The plastic pastrami. wrap is gonna be so that we can roll the whole thing okay. and tighten it. Okay, and then our chilled mushroom duck cell on top of that. Look at how nice, like that in itself, that little flip trick, a pro move if you ask me. Okay, so you're just really kind of spreading it out with your fingers, yeah. gently pressing. A nice thin layer here. It's like kneading it, kneading the duck cell. You could feel where, where it's, it's like, like uneven thick. and yeah. too thin. And you want to keep it nice and even, just like we wanted a nice even sear all the way around and a nice even layer of pastrami. Um, same thing with the duck cell. Okay, meat right meat. in the middle. Meat in the middle. And then we're just going to 
pull this over just like that. Okay. You don't want the plastic. You don't want to pull the plastic all the way over. Right. You just want to gently go over, just right there. Perfect. Now what you're going to pull the plastic over. Tighten. And then here's the fun part. If you do this on the counter, the plastic will kind of stick. Okay. And then it tightens it up real nicely here. Wow. And there you go. You're just going to set that in the fridge. About 45 minutes an Perfect. hour. Just so it all firms up and gets tight. Awesome. Sounds good. And then we'll come back. We'll roll out the puff pastry and we'll put it all together and get it in the oven and then eat. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll out this puff pastry. We don't want that thick of a piece. You don't want to roll it out too thin. Right. Because there's a, you need to find that perfect balance in the oven of cooking your meat and giving your puff pastry enough time to bake properly. Right. So if you go too thin, then by the time your crust is, you know, finished, your meat's not going to be cooked. So you need to kind of find that perfect balance so that everything cooks at the same timeline and it all comes out perfectly pink and medium rare. Okay, meat back from the fridge, nice and chilled. I'm just gonna cut this open. Be careful, because you don't wanna tear those crepes. Yeah, awesome. I'm just gonna let it right past the center. Okay. That way you can pull right over. And then these sides, I just like to trim them off just a bit. Right. And then just punch it all together. And give it a little tuck. Tuck it right in under. Rolled up, looking perfect, back in the fridge. One more hour. Awesome. We're so close. We're so close. It's almost there. All right, so Chef Yassel is just putting the finishing touches on our beef wellington. Um, we have it, it rested in the refrigerator for an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And then just did a very simple egg wash over top, an egg whisked together with a brush. That's it. Um, and now he's just placing on some beautiful thyme for yet another level of flavor. And it's gonna go into a 392 degree Fahrenheit oven. Wow, Kendra, that's precise. Yes, we know. It's 200 degrees Celsius. So again, you want to really make sure that you're doing this correctly, guys. 392 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 minutes. Then we're gonna rotate it, leave it in for another 10 minutes, take it out, and then we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. Whew, that's gonna give us that perfect, beautiful medium rare. All right, let's get that baby in the oven. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, we'll see you guys back here when it's time to plate and taste. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, so we are ready to finally dig into this. I mean, it is so beautiful. It's gorgeous. I know. All right, so just go ahead, get into it. Let's Give do it. Give it a slice. I'm okay. ready. Okay, I'm gonna go right down the center here. Ready for that reveal? I'm so ready for this reveal. Amazing. Is that not beautiful? So beautiful. That is like perfectly, perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to dig in. Dig in. Let's take a nice slice right out of the center here. Ah, oh, so beautiful. That's your slice right there. Yay! That's mine right there. Would you like a little red wine I would reduction? Love a little red wine reduction sauce right on top of there. Right on top. Ooh. Perfect. You get the, the, the thyme, the mushrooms. It, I mean, it's all there. The smoke from the pastrami. It's like, it just smells. It looks incredible. The bite. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Dude. So good. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I'm so glad that we went light on the seasoning because it just picks up all of those flavors. Like I soaked it all the in. The Dexcel is just like shining in this, but the meat is so tender, it's so juicy. 
So go onto our website, prairiestreet.co, and order up this amazing filet mignon cut from the ribeye, USDA Prime. Oh my gosh, it's like incredible. You, you keep talking, but I need to eat more. I know. All right, we'll see you guys next Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Peace. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.